dollar, dollar, dollar that's what I need. And if I share with you my story, would you share your dollar with me? Bad times are coming and I reap what I done so Hey, hey, well let Land trust? Land what? You see, my broken, unhoused mind is confused by grant deeds, mortgages, probates, and leases, all meant to steal Mama Earth from Mama Earth's peoples. Knives made of paper called treaties and LLCs. Created by colonizer stealers, don't you see? Bloody history, led by white Jesus toting missionaries. Endless theft of Mama Earth, gilded with false deities. Claiming discovery of something already inhabited, cared for for centuries by somebody's. So many bodies. 527 years later, we have indigenous children and elders kept in cages. Eviction of a hundred-year-old African sages and the violence of bulldozers destroying our homes, our tents, stealing our belongings and charging us crazy rents and incarcerating our babies. So we can't even think. In the U.S., all the laws around property rights are actually there to serve and support the business interests of developers, speculators, and realtors. Even land trusts aren't safe. The young lawyer who was teaching us houseless and formerly unhoused poverty scholars at Poor Magazine the twisted lies known as real snake law ended his speech and shook his head. We had called him in to help us set up the legal structure of our plan to spiritually and legally unsell the small parcel of Mama Earth we are building in deep east Wichin Ohlone land called homefulness. But now we all felt more depressed than we had before he started talking. Yeah, in this occupied land, one of the hardest lessons this poverty scholar had to learn as a houseless child and then later as a single parent, struggling with eviction then homelessness again then poverty and constant and ongoing gentrification in San Francisco, Oakland, and L.A., is that every single part of the settler colonizer lies a.k.a. laws that govern stolen Turtle Island, protect, support, lift up, enable, and promote the buying, selling, and profiting off of our Mama Earth, which is why today's podcast from a poverty scholar is dedicated to all my fellow landless, houseless peoples and called Land Trusts Are More Land Lies. Beginning with the original lie of discovery, which is analogous to someone stealing the jacket off your back and turning around and proclaiming they found a jacket and making a whole series of fake stories about how they found it and laws to keep stealing all of your jackets and every other article of clothing you own. And while they're at it, even you. Yeah, the road to Mama Earth theft and the paper and politics in place to cover it up is long and intentionally confusing. From LLCs to conservatorship, from guardianship to mortgages, from loans to probate KKK court to wills, there is an endless series of codes, regulations, and laws meant to confuse, jam up, disorient, discombobulate, and cover up the ongoing theft of Mama Earth from black, brown, indigenous, and poor people all across her beautiful lands. Folks work their entire lives, oftentimes in boring, back-breaking, hard jobs we don't even like to achieve a success model based on the acquisition and then hoarding of more and more of Mama Earth, her resources, and stacks and stacks of paper with dead white men on them, being constantly told that once we do, 
as in the case of the Sloan family of North Oakland and the Vasquez family of Fresno, who this jailhouse lawyer just came back from advocating for, just to name two of literally millions of working class people in this country, the courts and laws steal it away in a bloody river of paper. Add to this the violent reality of the demolition and eradication of all the public housing projects through more politics from the benignly named RAD program and HUD gentrification. Check my f- previous podcasts for the deconstruction of that. The fix is in. Our unhoused bodies criminalized in these so-called not really public spaces so we can't sit or stand anywhere Yeah, it continues to get worse. Lately, we have SB 35 by Scott Wiener, politrickster extraordinaire, enabling the insane high-rise condo and rich people renter projects as long as they include an eensy-teensy little bit of affordable housing, which actually isn't affordable to any one of us poor people. So this all brings us to the lie of land trusts, which isn't really a lie, even though the two L's sound good together. Iteration alert. It's really what people, organizations, and gentrification victims are told is all we have to combat the ongoing war on the poor and the war on Mama Earth. What we aren't told is that All of these lies, I mean laws and codes, even land trusts, are embedded in a predatory system meant to power the wealth hoarders and land stealers, speculators and banksters. In the case of a whole gaggle of violent, violent, murderous evictions recently, felt by elders and families all across Turtle Island and so many in gentrification city San Francisco and Oakland. Local land trusts have swooped in with love and respect, trying in earnest to save people's homes. So more stories of eviction as elder abuse, as we call it at Poor Magazine, and untimely death like Irish Canada and Ron Lickers don't actually happen. Land trusts theoretically take the land off the real estate market so the tenants don't end up on the street, which is true. Well, what people don't know is that like all the other colonizer-created land lies, they have an expiration date, sometimes short. In some of the San Francisco cases, they're only 15-year land trusts, 25, 50 years, sometimes they're 99 years. But they're rife with all the same loopholes that enable wealth hoarders to hide and protect their lies and their hoarded wealth. And they also enable, promote, and create a safe space for the, enable, for the eventual sale, transfer, and or return back to the real estate market when the board who keeps it in trust passes away, the trust runs out, or the entity holding it in trust sells their interest in the land. What people rarely understand or overstand is the roots of all the devil over tree is rotten. The laws on the books are all meant to confuse and steal and hide for profit, Mama Earth. And what actually needs to happen is to purely stop that violence in its tracks, to unsell or rematriate. Mama Earth, as the wise land liberators of the Ohlone Lashawn Nation of Oakland call their work, to spiritually and legally unsell Mama Earth as we are doing at homefulness and hold it in what we are calling a liberation of land trust. Yeah, this ain't an easy thing to do. It requires that one work closely with a conscious lawyer and equally importantly, closely with ancestors, poverty scholars, First Nations, peoples of the land. So together we can set up a caregiving, a stewardship, rather than perpetuate the violence of an ownership. 
The badass folks at the East Bay Permanent Real Estate Cooperative are also trying this notion out in their own way and as of now are still working within the land trust model but are at least clearly offensively liberating tracts of land out of capitalist scam lord ownership. And the Segorite Land Trust, led by Native women, has clearly stated in their purpose statement a completely different way to conceptualize the use of Mama Earth. Segorite is an urban indigenous women-led land trust based in the Bay Area that returns indigenous land to indigenous people. For us landless, houseless, incarcerated, bordered, criminalized, disabled, evicted, and gentrified, multi-nationed, multicultural, black, brown, and indigenous poverty scholars at Poor Magazine, the liberation of land trust is what we are solely manifesting. Which isn't to say it's just houses for houses folks, which it is. But it is also a consciousness shift away from the harmful extractive system that is capitalism. The liberation of land trust is rooted in all the things we are intentionally untaught in capitalism's cult of individualism, scarcity models, and separation nation, which isn't good for anyone, but especially is bad for poor people and worse for houseless people and even worse for Mama Earth itself. Tell you something, all that glitters and gold.